Hi, these comments are eight for AP, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. You've been working very hard. You have about 10 or 12 days to get ready for the TOEFL exam. So yesterday you completed a writing practice test. I gave you a mountain of feedback along with specific lessons to help you improve your writing proficiency. And today we're going to listen to a speaking practice test that you completed. And uh, let's take a look here. Let me find out which one it is. I'm looking for the uh, ETS's speaking rubrics here. Uh, uh, give me a quick second. I want to make sure I have these. So when I listen to your practice test, I can give you the most accurate score possible. Now, it's not just getting a score here, though. It's, it's understanding what you need to do to get better to improve your overall speaking fluency, right? And remember that speaking fluency takes time. You cannot put a timetable on this. Okay, so the question here is, describe a place you visited as a child and explain what your favorite memory is while visiting this place. Okay, I think we got it. So I'm going to listen to the whole thing one time without making any comments at all. Then the second time, uh, I'm going to give you some feedback along with an estimated score. And most importantly, I will tell you what you can do to improve your speaking uh, fluency. Now remember, if you don't study the recommended lessons and improve and master those areas, you're just going to do the same things over and over and over. Right? You're not going to get any better. So the key is to submit the practice test, get the feedback, study the recommended lessons, master what's being taught in those lessons, and complete another practice test to get feedback to see what types of improvements you've made. Okay? Okay, here we go. I would like to talk about the place which, which is Visawa Garden, and we often used to go there when I was a child. Uh, we almost uh, used to go there uh, on weekends, uh, mostly on Sundays. One day, uh, one day what happened is we were about to go and uh, our neighborhood just came and uh, asked about that place. Uh, and they also uh, came with us uh, to the uh, garden. And we really had uh, a lot of fun on that day. We played badminton, some, uh, some group uh, activities also and so we played uh, kabaddi as well there we uh, there was a shop in that uh, garden we bought a ball from there and we played with that ball also it was really memorable day for me okay so you had, you had a lot of good examples in there so that's a good thing uh, I don't think you're in the three range right now I'm going to put you halfway between two and three two point five so you're looking maybe at about 17 to 18 points out of 30. So speech is basically intelligible. The listening effort is needed. I think that explains some of your problems. Awkward intonation, choppy rhythm, uh, meaning may be obscured. Uh, so with the second one, you have maybe a limited range of grammar and vocabulary uh, response is connected to the task mostly basic ideas you actually had some details in there which is good okay so let's listen to it one more time and remember describe a place you visited as a child and then explain your favorite memory while visiting that place i would like to talk about the place which is visawa garden and we often used to go there when i was a child uh, we almost uh, used to go there uh, on weekends uh, we almost used to go there on the weekends. If you say we almost used to go there, that means you did not go. So you're having some problems with the word almost. You can say we usually went there on the weekends. I would say that. I think usually is a better word than almost in that case because it, it doesn't have the meaning that you're trying to convey. Uh, mostly on Sundays. One day, uh, one day what happened is we were about to go and uh, our neighborhood just... But, but you need to describe this place. What does it look like? So give some physical description of the place that you used to visit so we can kind of understand what it is. Came and uh, asked about that place. 
uh, and they also uh, came with us uh, to the uh, garden. But what's your favorite memory? So you have two things. Describe the place, talk about the favorite memory. And we really had uh, a lot of fun on that day. We played badminton, some uh, some group. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Why not say for example or to illustrate? So use more transition words in there to help show the connection of your ideas. That's very helpful for your organization. Uh, activities also and so we played uh, kabaddi as well there. We, uh, there was a shop in that uh, garden. We bought a ball from there and we played with that. So how about my favorite memory is when we went to, so if you repeat one of the key words from the speaking prompt, it's going to give you a little bit better uh, organization of ideas there. All right, let's keep ball going. Also. It was really memorable day for me. All right, so it was really memorable. So you say it at the very end, but I don't think you focused your ideas around a specific memory there. So you have to do better, I think, with addressing the speaking task. Not enough description of the place, and you didn't focus the rest of your present your your response around a specific a specific memory that you had while visiting the place. So I think your score here is 17 to 18 points out of 30. So what do you do? Okay, number one, go to the, the speaking part of my course. I want you to review the very first lesson. It's called Independent Speaking Strategies, right? Go through that lesson and really internalize what I'm teaching you there. Now, in addition, this is the same feedback I gave you yesterday about writing. I want you to review, I think it's writing lesson number eight or it's speaking lesson number seven. It's how to make your writing and speaking more coherent. So you have to do a little bit better on that. Uh, I think with delivery, uh, overall, your, your strategy, I think, is to complete the first pretest and focus on, try to understand which vowel and which cons consonant sounds you're having more trouble with so that you can study in those areas also because you have a lot of intelligibility issues. I don't want to get too detailed. I've already given you a lot of different things that you need to do right now to get better, but just do that pronunciation pretest for vowel and consonant sounds. You can start studying uh, those particular lessons you're having more trouble with, and that's going to help you with your intelligibility. All right, so overall, you got a ways to go, right? So uh, I'm going to put you at 17 to 18 points on the speaking. All right, thank you.